Hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to sew this uh, cultural trouser with elastic waist and also name tag and uh, press button also, as you can see. I've already taught you guys how to cut this uh, pant. So if this is the first time watching my video, you can check my video on how to cut this uh, cultural trouser. Just check my description, you will see the link on how to cut this uh, cultural trouser. And today I'm going to show you guys how, how to sew it. So stay with me, don't go anywhere, feel free to ask any question. After watching the video, if you have any question, you are free to ask any question. Don't forget to like the video and share it to your friends. And most especially, subscribe to my channel if you are not done yet. So without wasting much of your time, let's start the video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay now guys, after uh, the cotton, this is uh, the piercing, you can see. And this is uh, my waist pocket. Here's my back pattern. And here is my front person. You can see. Okay, now I'm going to uh, start coming it. After coming, I'm, then I will start to uh, sew. So, you can see. Here's my pocket. I'm going to come the front pattern, just like this. I'm not going to weave it first. I'll first of all uh, sew it first before weaving it. And see from this uh, mark I gave here, I'm going to start it like this. You can see how slant is to that mark from that three inch that I gave uh, at the waistline to the that seven and a half inch that I gave at the left side. And I'm going to fold it like this, just like your normal trousers uh, come in. Same thing at the other side. Remember, they are left and right. Same thing. And fold it also like I did at the first uh, side. I see. That is all for the front pattern. Make sure that you, you come in very well. Okay, the next step now is the uh, waist pocket. I'm going to use only one uh, waist pocket. This time I'm, I'm going to commit only one. Can see. Now I'm going to fold this one like this. I'm going to fold one like this. Like your normal trouser uh, with pockets. I can fold uh, like three quarter or half inch is okay. This one also I'm going to commit. And this one, I'm not going to fold it, I'm just going to come it straight one way. And this is all for the waist pocket. There are two, I fold one, and one is not fold. And here's my waist, my waist cover, like my elastic waist cover. I'm not going to come anything on this one. Okay, now this is the pocket that, that, that I'm going to use. Here's my pocket in. And here is the length, I'm using 13 inch on the left side. At the waist side, I'm going to use a uh, 14 inch. It's okay, it's enough. Then here is for the waist pocket, my back waist pocket. What I have here, I'm using. I'm going to use like uh, 19 and a half to 20 inch for the length. Why 8 inch at the waist side? So stay with me, don't go anywhere. Let's proceed to the swing. 
so here now I'm, I'm going to check any of them I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to fix the trouser, uh, the trouser front pocket just like your normal trouser front pocket there's no difference I see from the west side I'm going to place my front pattern help my front pocket in see I place it See? Then from the inside, I'm going to stitch it from the inside first. Then I'm going to take a mark on the pocket in so that it can fold very well. Let's see. And after that, I'm going to stitch the pocket line. You can use double line or you can use single line just like this this is just like your trouser uh, on pockets now I'm going to use the double stitch I'm going to use double stitch like double line on the front pattern you can, you can use one if you like it's not it's never by force to use double stitch so i'll see my own you can use uh, a single stitch is like a single line okay now because i, I did not weave this place i'm going to fold it you can see this, this place is not weave i'm going to fold it like this you can see i fold it just because I, I don't know with it but if I with uh, the trouser will force this I'm not going to fold anything I'm going to just sweat one way okay now I'm going to apply the pocket scene the sorry the face scene There are two. Remember, they are left and right. Find the matching one, and this is the matching one. You can see. You can see here is straight. Why here is also straight? That's why this one is the matching one. This one is the wrong one. You can see. So I'm using this one. And I'm also I'm going to fold it. The more like this, because I did not weave it. You can also weave the trouser before, before you start sewing it, but I, pre I prefer sewing the trouser first before weaving it so that I can weave everything at once. If you weave the trouser before sewing it, that means you're going to weave it like two times. You're going to weave it before sewing and also weave it after sewing it. That's why I prefer sewing it uh, before weaving it. Hey, after the pocketing, now, uh, after the facing, sorry, and now I'm going to fold it like this. See how I fold it now. I fold the pocket in to, together like they are equal. Make sure that the, your pocket in is equal. You see, then I'm going to stitch here, just stitching. Now I stopped. The length side, I just stitch it. Can see now at the other side. I'm going to uh, give a gap like two inch. It's okay from here. Now I'm going to stitch and straight. Then trim it off. Okay, now I'm going to uh, use my pocket, almost got in the pocket. Now I'm going to uh, take a mark here under like this. I see, just take a mark. 
a lot of mark and i'm going to uh, turn it outside from the inside like this then turn it outside then from that mark i'm going to stitch from the mark like this then i'm going to cut my hand It's just like your front uh, trouser pocket. Then trim it a little. Now I'm going to turn it back again. I see. my pocket also I'm going to stitch here turn it very well then I'm going to stitch uh, uh, here again I'm going to stitch here like this to cover my hand this is very very simple but feel free to ask any question if you have any question just feel free to ask okay now this is uh, my front pocket Now I'm going to also fit uh, the other side the same way I fit this one. The other difference is that they are left and the right. I see. This one is my left pocket. My other left pocket. Now I'm going to fit this one, which is my right pocket. The same way I fit this one. There's no difference, just that they are left and the right. That's all. And after that, this, this is what I'm going to have after doing that. I see there is something there's no difference that the, the left and the right can see can see same thing okay now I'm going to uh so uh the crotch I want you guys to watch very carefully how I'm going to do this place can see how I faced uh the book in the pattern the back is, is facing each other you can see why the front is at the top watch me very careful and ask question now i'm going to stitch like this first remember i cut the flap together please check my cutting video on this uh throttle that you, you understand everything now i'm going to st stop here I pass the uh, the flaps a little. You can see, you can see my stitching. We are stopped. You can see, just like half inch. Now I'm going to take a mark so that I can turn it. Take a mark like this. You can see. Now I'm going to turn it like this. Yes, my my crotch you can see just feel free to ask any question this is very simple just but ask any question if you have you can see now i'm going to stitch here also okay now i'm going to stop here also on that uh, uh, mark that I take, you can see we have stopped okay now I'm going to uh, close the crotch you can see I'm going to start like half inch up from that mark you can see I'm going to stop like start like half inch, three quarter inch or half inch. This way I'm going to start up. It's okay. And here's my my crotch. 
can see two of them so together and this is what i'm going to have this one is not going to have any zip you can see no zip okay here i'm going to close uh the flap from the waistline make sure that uh, it, it is locked before you stitch now oh, because i got what i'm doing you can see what i have here okay now i'm going to uh, sew the waistline From, the, to, from one and a half inch and I'm going to uh, stitch just like your normal trouser your normal zip trouser just like that then also I'm going to cut my line you can see how, where I stop you can, you can also uh, use one stitching I mean one line at the close side just by choice if you like you can uh, do it like double okay now i can see i've got my pocket and my uh crotch you still don't have any zip i've gotten my pocket and my crotch now i'm going to uh sew the back waist pocket okay now because i'm, I'm using uh, only one waist pocket i'm going to fix the, uh, the pocket at the right side of my back pattern and this one is not going to have any dots here it's going to be like one and a half inch one and a half inch is okay from here then i'm going to take a mark just like your normal uh, trouser like like you want to fit it that you can see okay from that mark i'm going to just measure like normal three and a half inch for the dust but this one i'm going to fit it any dot you can see here is the dot line then i'm going to measure my normal waist uh, pocket i'm using five and a half inch you can see i'm using five and a half inch you can see how i got that five and a half inch uh, by two i'm going to have uh two three quarter should be at that uh, that line so as you you get the center of your waist pocket you can see how i got that you can see now this is my pocket in for the waist pocket now i'm going to fit it also like your normal trouser waist pocket remember to fit it at the right side of your back pattern because i'm just using only one you can see you can see the marks like two inch is okay at the back side then I'm going to turn it okay now I'm going to uh, first of all fist the one I fold into two remember the waist pocket I fold one and and, and leave one remember what I have here uh, three quarter inch see how I place it at that line then I'm going to place this one also like the same line remember see what i have here 
I now have half inch and the gap should be like half inch also. I fold three quarter inch and I use a uh, quarter inch for the sewing allowance and I have half inch. So the gap between uh, the two uh, waist pocket is half inch. Make sure that the both line is equal, both the starting and the end. The two edge uh, lines are equal. So that you get what you want, you can see the lines. And I'm going to open it. See how I'm doing that. Just like your normal trouser back with pocket. Remember the edge is equal, I mean the two lines. And the gap is half inch. So yeah, I'm doing that. Feel free to ask any question if you have if, if you have a question. And don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified when next I upload a new video. Because this one is just a part one. I have like five different uh, methods of sewing this trouser, both the short nigger, the short pant. Now I'm turning it from from the outside to the inside, from the front uh, side to the back side, can see. And this is what I'm going to have at the back side. Uh, here I'm going to stitch here. Can see? That's what I have here. I'm going to stitch here from the inside. You can see a tiny allowance here for the swing. Make sure that your hand is straight here. Then cut it off like this. Let's see, Let's see what I have here. Also, the same thing here. Keep your hand straight. Stitch. Also, cover it like this. The other ones. See what I have here. Very simple. There's no difference. Very simple method. Here's my back with pocket. Almost done. Now I'm going to first uh, fold the uh, pocket in. First of all, I'm going to stitch here before folding it. I see how I fold it because I did not weave it. That's why I'm folding it like that. I remember that I weave it. I'm not going to fold uh, the waist pocket. I'll just fold it straight. Then the up one also, I'm going to fold it like this up. Okay, now after uh, the stitching, I can see it has stitched this place. I'm going to fold the pocket in to the waist side, just like this. You can see, you can see how I fold it to the waistline. Then take a mark here and also the, here also. I take a mark on the both side. Now I'm going to fold it again, but this time I'm going to fold it upside down again. Like this, you can see how I fold it. Now I'm going to stick the both side of the of the pocket in. Fold it very well. Make sure that you fold it from that mark that I tick. I'm going to stick the, the both side like this. Please make sure that you start my channel if you have not done yet. Start on the fire when I will put a new video. I'm going to stitch here also. That's no difference. Just keep your hands straight, then trim it a little. And I'm going to turn it back again.
Tony the worm. Can I see? Can I see the back? Now I'm going to fold it like this. Stitch. Just watch very carefully. First step method. And ask question if you, if you have any question, you just feel free to ask any question and I'll get to you. Yeah, also the same thing. Put it like this. Let's see what I have here. Now I'm going to fold this place like this. Watch how I fold this place. I'm fold it double like this. Then I'm going to stitch it. Oh, hold on. let me stop on this place. I stick that. This is what I'm going to have. You can see? Okay, now uh, on the waist pocket, I'm going to uh, stitch the both side from from the side like this. I'm going to stitch the top. Then also the style like this also. Okay, now this is my waist pocket. I put in my waist pocket, my back uh, waist pocket. Okay, now I'm going to turn it to the front side. I'm going to join the front and the back together. After doing that. Just like your normal trouser, like you're doing, you're doing your normal trouser, joining the front and the back. Okay, now I'm going to uh, stop for the press button opening because it's going to have press button. That's why I'm stopping here. I'm going to stop like 13 inch for the mouth for the opening. The other is going to have a, uh, an opening. 13 inch is okay. I'm going to stop here from the mouth. You can see the same thing at the other side. You can see here is for the button. The button opening. Same thing at the other side. Okay, now I'm going to cut uh, like four different fabric for the opening. You can see two are the same thing, while the other two are the same thing. I have four inch here, and what I have here is 15 inch for the opening. This one are the same thing. And here also, I have the same 15 inch here. And what I'm going to use here is two and a half inch. Okay, now this one I'm going to fold it together. There are two. I'm going to fold this one together. Like I'm folding this one equal. This this is for the opening. You see how I fold this one. Then this one I'm going I'm just going to fold the edge. Like this, a little. You can see how I fold this one. Okay, now I'm going to use the hem and gum to hold it very well. Remember, there are two. This side, I'm going to fold 
the, uh, the other one also for the opening you can see how I fold this one then this one I fold it into two also going to uh, use some gum on it This is how I'm going to fold the other two. You can see, I'm going to fold the other two like this. Uh, this is what I'm going to have. You can see, this one is I, I fold this one into two. While this one, I just fold the edge. This is for the opening, the opening flap. Okay, now this is how I'm, I'm going to uh, sew it. Remember the front and back pattern, right? Okay, now he has the back uh, button and he has the front pattern. Now I'm going to use this one at the front pattern. This one that I just fold the edge like this. I'm going to use, use it like this at the front pattern. Sorry. Remember the one I use at the front button and the one I use at the back button. Also, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, cut your tro your this trouser without using uh, this folding. It will also have opening, but I'm not going to use this folding. Now I'm going to turn it inside like this. I'm turning it inside. This one is my front pattern. Then stitch. Can I see? Okay, the other one that I fold into two, I'm going to use at the back pattern. This one, the one I fold into two. Remember, I fold this one into two. I'm using this one at the back pattern. Just watch how, how I'm going to do that. Just stitch like half inch. So the trade allowance is just half inch. see very simple you can see what I have here now I'm going to stitch the edge you can see like this okay And this is what I'm going to have. You can see. This is what what I will have now. You can see. The opening is now closed. You can see the opening now closed. And I'm going to stitch the, the top like this. stitch here you can see also uh, the mat also I'm going to stitch the mat okay now this one that, that, that I'm going to stitch now I'm going to lose it after I just want to hold it so it, it will not disturb me this one I, I'm going to uh, lose the stitching after also, I'm going to uh, stitch uh, the other pattern the same way I did here. The other side, I'm going to stitch it the same way I stitch this one. There's no difference. Remember, they are left and right. Same thing. Okay, now this is what I'm going to have. After doing that, now I'm going to uh, apply the beds, the line. 
I'm going to apply the line at the side. Here is the line I'm going to use. You can see. Now I'm going to measure from the waist down to that opening. From the waist down to the opening is where I'm going to stop. Then from that place I'm going to cut it off. Then fold it. I'm going to fold this mount like this. You can see. You can see how I fold it. It's going to have uh, the line at the both sides, so they should be the same measurements. I'm applying the lines at the both sides of my trouser. Then I'm going, I'm going to cut it the same uh, measurement. Then also I'm going to fold it with my iron. You can see what I have. Okay, now let's stitch the line. You can start at the waist side or you can start at that opening see where I start from the opening and this is how I'm going to stitch the both side this is how I'm going to stitch the line I'm stitching the both side of the line this is just like, like, like a belt Make sure that the allowance is free inside. I mean, you see the allowance between the front and the back pattern is free, so that you can you can still move it after sewing it. Now, so this side I'm, I'm going to stitch it. Like I said before. Make sure that the, the allowance is, is, is free inside. I mean, the swing allowance between the front and the back pattern. Shift it with your hand while stitching. Okay. This is just how I'm going to stitch the other side. There's no difference. Stitch this uh, the other side the same way. You stitch this one. The same measurement. You can see. Okay, now I'm going to close the waist after after the lines. You can see the other side. The both sides is the same thing. They have the same line. The same measurement. Okay, now I'm going to close the waist. Here's my back clutch. Now I'm going to close it with one inch. Just close it with one inch. Don't measure the waist. Just close the back waist with one inch. One, one inch is okay. Just watch very carefully. Please ask question if, if you have any question. Just feel free to ask any question if you have any, if, if you have any question. Okay, now I'm going to close the, the mount. The other mount. I'm going to close it. My other mount is 14. Now I put it into two. I'm going to measure 7 inch. I'm going to close it by 7 inch, which is 14 in total. Remember, the mass is 14. And 14 by 2 is 7 inch. 14 by 2 is 7 inch. You can see 
high close it like your normal trouser uh, stitching I'm, I'm going to stop at the crotch why I crotch uh, I close uh, the other side I see we are stopped the other side also I'm going to close it by seven also the both sides should be the same measurement seven inch also okay now some people ask uh, you go to ask what about the knee no need for that just from that uh, seven inch maintain the same allowance you still have get your your knee and your laughs correct but you can still measure the knee and your laughs if you want but if you maintain the same allowance from that uh, total mat you will you still get your knee and your laughs correctly Just maintain the allowance so you get it correctly okay now here is my waist i'm going to fix the waist now i'm going to measure my waist to know what i have after closing the waist i'm going to measure it from the from the from the crotch from the crotch go to measure my waist around remember i closed i closed the back uh, waist i mean the back crotch by one inch then after that measure your waist round i have 40 inch like normal my waist is uh, 34 now i have 40 inch now i'm going to use uh, that 40 inch on the waist use my waist uh, cover the elastic cover remember this one is elastic that's why it, it is more than your normal waist just follow this uh, method, my method, both the cutting and the sewing, and you get it correctly. And okay, now I'm going to close uh, the elastic cover, which is my waist, by 40 also. Your waist should be 40 also, like your pattern waist. You can see. I'm doing that okay now I'm going to fold the sewing allowance one side like this then I'm going to stitch it from the front side and here's my waist which is my elastic cover here's my waist you can see Now I'm going to fold it into two. I'm going to fold it into two like this. I see. Here's my waist. Okay, now next is the my elastic. I'm using two inch elastic. Okay, now for the length, it depends on the one you're using, how it draws. My own, I'm going to use uh, 28 inch length. My waist is 34. Uh, what I'm using is 28 inch minus 6 inch from my normal waist. It depends on how your own draws. Okay, now I'm going to uh, stitch it. You can see my own is draws very well. I'm going to pack it very well so that it will not lose. You can see how I'm doing that. Pack it here very well. Here's my elastic. You can see. It depends on your own, the one you're using. Okay, now I'm going to fix it inside my waist. See, I'm going to do that. Okay, now I'm going to close it. 
please this first stitching is, is not going to touch the elastic the first stitching is not going to touch this elastic the elastic will be free inside remember that so that it will close very well the first stitching should not touch the elastic I will first of all close the elastic with the waist cover it with the waist don't touch the elastic inside make sure that the, it, it is free inside this side i'm going to return it to the elastic is covered with the waist you can draw it draw it hand so that it will give you space Can see I'm doing that like I said before make sure that the elastic is free inside make sure that you have subscribed to my channel if you have, have not done yet please subscribe and turn on the notification button start the unit five when I will put in the video Okay guys, we are done, okay now I can see my waist, it is free inside, that elastic is free inside, that's why you are seeing it like this, you see, okay now I'm going to sew another one, I'm going to stitch another one, but this one I'm going to shift my hand inside, and I'm going to stitch it on the elastic. This one that I'm stitching now is, is on the elastic. I keep my hand inside. This one can touch the elastic, no problem. But the first one should not touch the elastic. You can see? Also from the top like this, you can see what I have here. Also, I'm going to stitch another one here. You can see how I'm drawing the waist. Make sure that you draw the waist while stitching, so that it will last. You can see. Okay, now here's, here's my elastic waist. I've gotten what I want here. Now I'm going to apply it to my, to my pattern. I've, I'm going to start from the crotch on the front uh, pattern. Here's my crotch. You can see? Now I'm going to I'm going to be drawing the the waist only. I, I'm not going to draw the pattern. I'm drawing the waist only. So that it will last. It will go around. Draw the waist. Ask any question, like I said before, if you have any question, and I'll get to you. Please, after watching this, uh, this tutorial, I want to know how you guys feel about this tutorial. I have more of this tutorial, so that's why I say subscribe to my channel so that you, you will not miss any of this tutorial. I'm, I'm using the simplest method, just very simple. I'm done with the paste. Let me turn the front. Yeah, I'm done with the waist. Let's see. Okay, yeah, here's my waist. Let's see. 
next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, fix the rope, the waist rope. Okay, now from the crotch here, you can see here the crotch. I'm going to measure uh, one and a half inch back, backwards like this. I'm going to take a mark, open, open it up here. You can see. Also the same thing like this, one and a half inch. Now I'm going to take an opening for the rope. You can see I did that. You can see the opening. Now I'm going to fix the thread. I mean the rope. This is what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to use the head to pass inside. I'm going to use the head to move it inside like this. I can see how it's moving. I'm using the head to pass uh, the rope. This time I'm going to do that to the next opening. The other opening. You can see. Very simple. It's very, very simple. This time I'm going to do that to the next opening. I mean the other opening. Then I'll pass it almost there. Okay. You can see the opening here. And this, this is what I'm going to have. You can see. what I have here very simple okay now and after that nothing I'm going to do now I'm going to fold the damp part of my of my trouser I mean the mount remember I add two inch extra allowance at the cutting the time that I was cutting it I added uh, extra two inch and I'm going to fold the two inch add like this make sure that you fold the two inch only don't fold more than the two inch. That that two inch that I added the time I, that I was cutting it. Now I'm going to fold it. See how I fold that. Don't fold more than that two inch. Okay. Same thing, I'm also going to fold uh, the other side the same way I fold this one. You can see the opening. I'm going to fold the other side the same way I fold this one. There's no difference. Okay, now this is what I have after folding it. You can see. Next, next thing now is the press button. I'm going to mark the press button. Okay, now I'm going to mark here. After that, uh, the sewing line. I'm going to mark here. Then at the top side, I'm going to mark here also. Okay, now I'm going to mark the center of the two lines. I have nine and a half inch by two. I'm going to have uh, four three quarter. The center of the two marking. You can see. Also, I'm going to mark the both sides the same, the same way I marked the first one. You can see. Now I'm going to apply the pressing button on it. Okay, now this is what I'm going to have after doing that. I'm sorry, I'm not sure you guys how to do that because I, I don't, I don't really have the machine for now. But I'll get my own very soon. And I promise you guys, I'm going to show you guys how to use 
the machine and how to fix it also this, this, this is what i'm going to have after fixing the plasma button don't worry i'll show you guys how to do that i'll, I'll soon get my own just very soon okay now after uh, the plasma button next thing I'm, I'm going to do now i'm going to apply the name tag like i told you guys before last time i used my name mr ebay fashion home but this time around i'm going to use the name of the person that owns this trailer the, the name of the, that person is saint george saint george is the name of, of that person you can see here is hg meaning saint george and here is the full meaning the full uh words you can see here is the short form and here is the full name of that person saint george so this is what, what i'm going to use i'm going to use this name tag you can also use your name to do it as a designer okay now i'm going to use 11 inch from the waist this printing you can get it uh, any place like any printing or shop this is lilon printing lilon printing okay then i'm going to place it at the center of of that particular pattern then i'm going to use a uh, hot iron then i'm going to use a fabric to cool it off i'm not going to use uh, my normal cooler what you use to what you use to cut it up is just a fabric a piece of fabric like i'm doing now you can see you cut it off then you can remove it after doing that you can see this is a nylon printing here is the short form of the name the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to use apply the full uh name you can see you can place it here or you can shoot it backwards like this you can see sg the problem of sg is st george and the, that's the name of the person that owns this uh, particular quadra trouser you can see i guess i get what i'm doing get what i'm saying please feel free to ask any question if, if you have any question just feel free to ask any question and i'll get to you then run this one okay now this is now a customized quadra trouser with the name of your customer or your own name you can see what i have here sg meaning st george okay now this is the last story this is the last uh, point of this story i've gotten all that i need you can see so feel free to ask any question like i said before if you have any question just feel free to ask any question you can see everything is now ready please tell me how you feel about this story if you want me to bring more this story and please don't forget to like the video and share it to your friends and if, if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe because i'm going to uh, bring more of this story i want to bring more of this story because i have more of them thousands of them on this channel so that you guys will not miss this story i'm so, so happy to have you as my subscriber i'm going to talk about today and like i said before i would like to know how you guys feel on the comment section tell me how you feel about this story so that i will know my next move